Hey, it's Priestess Honeymoon Tuesday. Missed a few days. I don't know why. I had such a good weekend, though. Lots of good partying, dancing with friends, and meeting new friends, and just dancing my heart out, and just showing up as my truest self. In every way that I was called to, I'm just feeling really proud of myself and <laughs> I'm so honored and grateful to just be here feeling this energy. Yeah, really lucky despite this UTI woke me up at 2 a.m. It was just so painful. I was on the toilet like every hour. I think I slept like an hour after that. I'm just really, really painful. I haven't felt something like that in a while. So I went to the clinic after I dropped the kids off and yeah, I also started my 30-day challenge on Facebook, self-love challenge. So I was just, yeah, really thinking about self-love and just taking it easy on myself. I haven't slept well and not pushing myself to do stuff that, you know, can be put off. And it's like, no, you need to take care of yourself and really retraining myself to to know what taking care of me is. There's so much that we're told we're meant to do to take care of ourselves and then other things that get overlooked or just don't get built in as habits. So I'm really trying to think about those things that I really want to be doing to take care of this body, this temple, this amazing gift that we get to inhabit in this life. And <laughs> I also just wanted to share a bit about my decision to really go on to Chatterbait. And yeah, it was a while ago I had really felt the call I met someone who was on there and I was like yeah this is how I'm gonna like change the world through sacred sexuality and pleasure and connection who knows if it's how I'm gonna change the world but it's definitely like on my path and it's taken me a while to get here but super excited Just look me up priestess honeymoon I'll Put a link in the description too. And just owning our pleasure, owning our sexual sovereignty, and really releasing the shame and guilt around sex is not something that needs to be shamed or hidden. It's how we are here, and there's so much, so much to learn. I think it's how we evolve and. This is definitely how I'm going to open my sacred sex and pleasure center. So, <laughs> so exciting. Hmm. Releasing judgments of my own and just how people will talk or think or look or what they'll say. I don't care. <laughs> say it all. It's all good. It feels so good to really embody that, you know. I've spent a long time working towards it. So yay, it's here. Mwah. So much peace and love. <laughs>